bro. Why would somebody see a struggle? Oh my God, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Fix your lies, bro. Fix your lies, bro. Fix your fix your lies, let me go. Fix your lies. Stand on that CMG bin and all that shit that we talk. Stand on that, folk. You hear me? Stand on that, G's and D, folk. Migo, why you lying, Migo? I hit the phone. Well, why you twisted? Why your body twisted? Why is your body twisted if I hit your phone? And then you said I ran to the police. Why would I run to the police, bro, when I sprung on you? That's crazy. I woke up out the airport, woke, and I was by myself on God. But why are you twisted like this if I hit the phone, Migo? Come on, man. Stop playing, man. You got to stand on that, bro. I just seen the video where Grove Hero ran up on Lil Migo and knocked the camera out of his hand. Well, I'm trying to figure out, like, Grove Hero got one of them hands like this, right? So did he hit him with the hand? Did he hit the phone with the hand, with the fucked up hand? Or was the fucked up hand holding the phone? Like, I, what, which? <laughs> Man, Lil Duval fucked up for that, bro. How you gonna say, did he hold the phone with the fucked up hand or did he hit him with the fucked up hand? But I ain't gonna lie, that's a good ass question because before this whole thing even happened, I never heard of Lil Migo or the other nigga. So I had no idea that Grove Hero, he got a fucked up hand. Like, I'm assuming he was born like that. Yeah, like a nigga who got a mess up hand, like you don't supposed to be running down on nobody. What the hell? Nigga, you got a disability. And if you gangster, so-called street nigga, why is you recording it? If you see a nigga, it's on site. It's not, I see him record it, then upload it to show everybody else. Who gonna see it? Everybody on the internet, including law enforcement. And what they gonna do? They might file an investigation. But these days, these new gangster rappers or so-called gangster rappers, they got to record everything and then say, oh, you snitching, you snitching. Just like when I hear rappers complain about, oh, man, how they going to use our lyrics in court? Man, they fucked the game up. No. If you actively doing a crime and you rapping about it, that's dumb. That's just like if you if you commit a murder and you go around the whole neighborhood. Yeah, bro, you know I killed that nigga. Yeah, bro, you know I killed him. Yeah, yeah bro, I killed him. And then you get locked up. You're like, damn, who snitched on me? Who snitched? Nigga, you told on yourself. That's the same thing as going online, going back and forth, sneak dissing, all this shit. Every picture I see on Google from these niggas is these niggas holding all these stacks of money, sitting behind all these luxury cars, rapping in music videos, doing tours. But yet, you want to go back and forth with a nigga because you see him at the airport. And I get it. Paper Roll Empire, do not fuck with CMG. I get it. But does that mean every time y'all run into each other, y'all gotta fight like wild animals? And y'all supposed to be multi-million dollar rappers. So which one is it? Is y'all street niggas or y'all businessmen who wanna keep getting money and grow old in the rap game? Cause these niggas try to be so hard for the fans. Then if one of them get locked up or shot up, the fans ain't gonna be there. Your family ain't gonna be there. Nobody gonna be there. It's gonna be over for you. Crazy, man. What y'all think about this, boy? Be months.